Last night, Carol Baskin made her Dancing with the Stars mm -hmm. debut, and I gotta tell you, it was a sight to see. I was actually really excited for her and very happy for her. This is her first dance right here, uh, dancing to, of course, Eye of the Tiger. But <laughs> what has people really talking, Cass, is a commercial that aired during the show featuring her missing second husband's family. Take a look. Don Lewis mysteriously disappeared in 1997. His family deserves answers. They deserve justice. Do you know who did this or if Carol Baskin was involved? A $100,000 reward has been funded. You can call the tip line at 646-450-6530. Again, that ad ran during a commercial break during Dancing with the Stars on Monday night, but it only aired in Florida, local Florida markets. But as you can tell from the commercial, it addressed the 1997 disappearance of Carol's second husband, Don Lewis, which, as we all know, played out in a couple episodes of the Tiger King docuseries where Joe Exotic alleged that Carol fed her husband to the Tigers, which of course she has vehemently denied. So now, obviously, the big question here is what does Carol Baskin think about this ad running during her big debut of Dancing with the Stars? Well, <laughs> E.T.'s Lauren Zima caught up with Car Carol right after her performance last night, and this is what she had to say about the ad. I, I'm not at all surprised. Why do you say that? It's just been, I think, a huge publicity stunt on their part. So what more could they possibly do than that? Anything you would have to say to them? No. Okay. Um, anything you'd have to say to anybody who's seen that ad? I haven't seen the ad. What do you have to say to the critics out there of you? Find something to do that's worthwhile with your life. <laughs> Spending time worrying about what I'm doing is probably not a real good use of your time. Huge props to E.T.'s Lauren Zima right reaction. there. Yeah, a hard-hitting journalism right no, there, really I will no. say. I... Trying to get the answers. We all want to know. It's true. And it's kind of a, amazing to watch her respond because I think she's really letting this roll off her back. And I can, I'm can i only assuming she's hoping that it doesn't ruin her experience on this show because as we mentioned uh, last week, you know, her daughter really pushed her to do Dancing with the Stars despite the fact that, that she has turned down so many media opportunities after the Tiger King dropped, you know? And of course, right. that case about her missing husband, Don Lewis, has resurfaced since that docuseries. Right. Uh, but but she's not letting it face her, which I mean, I got to give her props because, you know, she's, she didn't do the best on the show last night, Cassie, is what I'm trying to say. So she has a lot of work cut out for her. Well, I will say, too, she has told E.T. before that the reason why she's doing Dancing with the Stars is all about the cats. And she wants to raise awareness for, mm. you know cats and being in containment and she feels like her involvement in the Netflix docuseries didn't really showcase those intentions so now this is kind of uh, you know like, mm. a, like a redemption almost you know where she can uh, control the narrative a little bit more uh, than the editors behind the right. series and, and those, are, those are her words to E.T. and so we'll see how uh, this all plays yeah. out but yeah you mentioned her performance last night only an 11 out of 30 I know. It happened to be the lowest of the night, so she was at the bottom of the leaderboard. Uh, and, but I gotta tell you, based on the judges' reactions and also reactions online, I feel like people were really rooting for Carol. And you have to remember, with a show like Dancing with the Stars, I feel like part of the appeal, which I saw last night when I watched the premiere, is that you're seeing these figures, these public figures and celebrities, step outside of their comfort zone, and you're either Tuning in for two reasons. One, you want to see them fall on their face, let's be honest. Or two, <laughs> you kind of want to like see just exactly how they deliver. And if they do, you kind of root for them. With Carol, everyone was just commending her for giving this a, 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 her best shot. You know what I mean? And, and, and having such a positive outlook on it. But yeah, she was at the bottom of the leaderboard last night. Thankfully, there are no eliminations this week. So she will return for a second dance. But just so you guys know some of the highlights and who to expect as our early front runners, Sky Jackson and her partner, Alan, 
Burston. They actually earned a score of 21 out of 30, the highest of the night, as well as Justina Mikado and Sasha, Sasha Farber. They also got a 21 out of 30. So they were the top two of the leaderboard. I got to give a shout out though to Dancing with the Stars super fan and former Bachelorette, Caitlin Bristow. I mean, I didn't realize the dancing background she had, and but I do know how long she has been trying to get onto this show. Well, she did a dazzling cha-cha that put her near the top of the week one leaderboard as well with a 20 out of 30. And she was so happy, Cass. It was so amazing to watch her do that. Jenny, when I watched her at first, I forgot that Artem is the professional here in this partnership because she looked yeah. so good doing, I mean, she just looks like she belongs on a dance floor. And what I thought was super sweet is that Lady Gaga actually, you know, saw this performance and tweeted about it saying, is it weird that this made me cry? I love watching people happy and <laughs> laughing. And so like, I mean, that's gotta be such a cool moment for Caitlin Bristow too. You make your big Dancing with the Stars debut and the artist of the song that you're singing, you know, who's not a small artist by any means, Lady Gaga, global superstar right. is watching along with the millions of other fans too. I mean, it had to have been a nerve wracking moment for Caitlin, but you know what? She handled it all with, with grace and elegance as she, you know, did her little twirls around the dance floor. A lot better than I would ever do. It's a it's a pinch me moment for her for sure. In fact, I think she tweeted that she'll never fully recover knowing that Gaga watched her dance.